Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back here with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing Mono Black Aggro. Everyone's been asking me where I am with Mono Black Aggro. Obviously, the Kitty in the Oven deck kind of took over, and I still do play that deck more than I do play this deck. I'm not going to lie, but I still fundamentally go back to this deck from time to time, um, simply because it's more my style. It's more what I enjoy as far as Magic is concerned, um, and I still think that Mono Black's got a lot of good pieces in this deck. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what Throne of Eldraine added to um, the Mono Black deck. So I'm still sticking with Stif disfigure um it's a fantastic instant spell that wipes out a lot of issues uh one ones um risen reefs gone one ones that are coming in from um cavalcade decks gone you've got a one one flyer you want to block with uh what am i thinking the chandra spitfire gone like there are so many answers that this thing delivers it's a fantastic card and i still keep it in i this is one of the cards i'm kind of like i could you know if it, if there was a good substitute for it i could probably take it out i almost genuinely debated taking these out and the Eternal Taskmasters to be able to put in the Kitty in the Oven to have that combo going on. But I feel like I'm trying to force a square peg into a round hole. Like, that deck is a very different deck. That's a sacrifice deck. It is not this deck. This deck is just run you over and, and beat you down. And I feel like I'm losing a little something on it when I put that in. So I had to just divorce the two and have that sacrifice deck over there and have this deck over here um continuing on uh gutter bones by far one of my favorite rare cards that ever came out of the uh the ravnica block two one uh two one for one and then if you do damage you can pull it back into your hand for two mana great great card uh knight of the bond legion getting a lot more attention now because he is a knight everyone kind of seen this card this is again one of the the top tier uh black rares in all of the sets so far currently in standard Sanitarium Skeleton is another one that I'm willing to let go of if I had to, um, but he comes in play so many times. Like I can't tell you the number of times I've played against Mono Red Cavalcade decks and just having him on the board stalls them because he kills them. He is a 1-2 blocker that just will sit there and defend. He'll take your biggest creature and he'll just block it and then come back the next turn. I recognize that the buyback to put him in from the graveyard to your hand is a little bit much, but he's a great blocker. Um, so again, he's one of the ones I'm willing to find another solution for, but at the moment, he really does fill his role quite well. Uh, for Eternal Taskmasters, being able to pull some of the creatures out of your graveyard because of Rotting Register forcing you to discard cards, uh, you're going to have want to have ways to pull them back. So clearly an easier. So if we're going to go Murder, we're going to go Double Murder, which is going to be four, three copies of Murder, which I still think is a fantastic card. And then Murderous Rider, a better Vrasus Contempt, plus it leaves a 2-3 Lifelinker um, as well. So, fantastic cards. Uh, again, Throne of Eldraine brought uh, uh, this one in as well. Rotting Registrar, we all know Rotting Registrar, my favorite card <laughs> that came out of N20. Um, I have all four foil copies that I play with in my paper deck now because he just makes me so happy. Uh, he's so cute and cuddly too. Um, Rankle was another addition from Throne of Eldraine. 3-3 three, three Flyer for Haste, fits right into the Mono uh, Black Aggro. Um, gives you the opportunity to sacrifice creatures. Oh no, I'll sacrifice a Gutter Bones. Oh no, I'll sacrifice a Sanitarium Skeleton that I can get back later. Oh, but you have to sacrifice something important to you. Discard cards i never have cards in my hand anyway because running register takes them out of my hand so it's mostly stuff that is going to be affecting my opponent and not me um spawn of mayhem still think this is one of the best cards to come out of ravnica block it's basically a 4-4 four, four, uh, flying trample creature for three mana because that's really what you're going to pay for it and then ultimately in the end um it, as it continues to tick damage it just becomes a pain in the butt um because of the amount of cavalcade burn out there i needed to add some lifelink in here so not only did murderous rider come in to, to adding some of that lifelink to gain some of that life back cavalier of night i've added to the deck simply out of necessity because at some point in time like when you start getting into the mid to late game and you're down to like four or five life and you have one more cavalcade attacking your dead you need something to be able to, to, to kill it not to mention the fact it combos quite well with things like gutter boats and sanitarium skeleton because you can sacrifice those creatures to be able to take his biggest creature off the board and then when he dies you can pull something back like oh i don't know riding register for example um so there's all kinds of fun stuff that comes in on this one running with two castle lothwains just to give you a little bit more of a card draw ability um 16 swamps witches cottages other decks i don't necessarily feel that this one works out but because of rotting registers innate ability to kick all the cool cards in your hand out of your hand having them come back into the top of your library is super fun so let's go ahead and play some fun games with mono black aggro 
if you have a mono black aggro deck that you uh, you're winning with or you're doing quite well with, let me know in the comments down below. I always like looking at other people's mono black aggro decks. I think we all have kind of identified the single uh, like subscribe while you're there. It'd be super helpful. Um, I think we've all kind of identified the cool black cards in Magic right now, and I know there's plenty of people that are trying, trying to get mono black aggro to, to stick, but we I don't think we've quite narrowed it down just yet. Oh, double witch's cottage. That's painful. This is the downside to running three of these. But everything else is so good. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to regret that. It's a fun deck anyway. I recognize it's not fun deck Friday. This is going to come out on a Wednesday, but... Ugh, super painful. The only other upside is maybe I end up with a swamp later. Because that literally that, that takes my tempo down by one. And... It, eliminates the ability which they're here for in the first place which is to pull creatures out of my graveyard and put them on top of my library let's get our kitty the right color shall we so witch's cottage is what it is yeah see how is it any different all three all three really all three witch's cottages right off the top that's awesome Oh boy, this looks like Simic Flash. Maybe, maybe. I could be wrong. I've got a sneaking suspicion that it's Simic Flash. So I'm going to hold on to that Witch's Cottage as long as I can. For situations just like this, whenever he counters it. Yep. I can just Witch's Cottage it right back to the top. Yeah, plus I didn't want to lose the <laughs> didn't want to lose the spot of mayhem. Why and shoot runs that anymore? Oh. Alright, let's get the damage in first. Let's see if he casts anything. So which one do I want to lose? Does he have the counter? Yep, he does. He still has the counter. Well, that's the upside. That's what Witch's Cottage is going to be here for. So he either has the counter or he has an instant speed. Yeah, I sent her to Sabotage. She's debating it. That's okay. This is really what I want down. I mean, that's cool. It's really cool. But I really want Rotting Registrar. So we're going to Witch's Cottage, and we're going to put it back on top of our library. So let's do this again. Get all his counters out of his hand now. It, he let it hit the table. Whoa. That's amazing. My suspicion is he's got the Night Pack Wolf in his hand, so he's going to cast that now. Or that. He must not have any creatures in his hand. Brazen Bar. And since you were tapped down, I will absolutely take that off the board for you. Thank you, sir. And we're right through because all he's got are counter spells. Let's rinse and repeat, shall we? He's holding on something. I'm not sure why. And now 
more we're going to get. Frailed Mystic. Yep, waiting for that. That's okay. The real thing I'm trying to get out is Rotting Registrar. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and kill that. He's going to counter that with something else in his hand. And then we're going to get rotten, Rotting Registrar down. Or he's going to bounce it. That would actually be interesting if he decided to bounce his own creature. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. Oh my god, why didn't he punch it the last time? Oh, this deck is so frustrating to play against, but it is what it is. I'm just going to keep pinging away at him here. I mean, at some point in time, he's going to want me to stop doing that. Okay. Because his intent would be to counter it. That's okay. I've got two. Which he let happen. Interesting. He's got the counter spell sitting right there. I can see it. It's right there. And let's kill that. What counter do you have? Pull the last one out. Negate. All right. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. See what happens. Interesting. Sure. And let's cast both, please. So sure, he's got some damage sitting over there. I'm trying to think of what I need. Because this deck is just full of nothing but counter spells. I'm trying to get in at this juncture. And I, I he's sitting on one that I know he has. We're going to hold on to that. Can we get three damage through? Because he's debating. He's debating casting the Frilled Mystic to block. Because it's going to make his Primeborn Cutthroat so big. Okay. Pull that back. Cast him again. He's in a frail mystic now. Sure. Except now I'm going to do this and kill that. You're out of counter spells, my friend. Mm 
<laughs> you should leave a blocker. I don't know why you would do that. Um, so you should have left a blocker. My guess is he's going to block the gutter bows. I'm just going to pull the both of them back, though. That's one of the advantages to this deck and the fact that I can just continuously just keep pulling stuff back out of my graveyard. Like, he should have held that up. Okay. Get your counter spell. If you've got it, use it. Hmm. And he's debating, like, do I waste a counter spell? Yes, he does. Yeah, he's got me now. He held on to that frilled mystic until, like, his life depended on it, but boy, did he get it. Whew. Close game. Close game. All right, let's see if we can get another one. That one went way too long. Try to get, like, three games of this, and you guys have seen me play a deck very, very similar to this one before. If not, check out my previous videos. I've got a lot of mono black aggro decks. Demir Agent. Ooh. Ooh. This could be fun. Could be fun. That's better, which is kind. There's not only one. One of you. Hmm. How do I want to go with this? Depend as I say, all depends on what he drops first. So if I don't pull a land, I'll probably drop Witch's Cottage. If he thought Erasure is me, he's going to take Rotting Registrar. Ooh. This is genuinely a Jameer deck. That's cool. No, we'll wait. Thoughtbound Lich. Cool. Too bad that's got to go. And this is why I pack all the murder. All the murder into one deck. What you got, my friend? Sure, take a writing register. You're not going to stop the other. Although, if he's got a counter shot in his hand, he's going to keep it. Hmm. Lost in thought, my friend. Would not have done that. He obviously doesn't have the counter spell, which he just gave the tell that he doesn't have the counter spell. He's got another Thought Pound Lich. That's what he's got. He's got something. He's like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and put the Life Link or Life Link and Death Toucher in there. Nope. He's drawing for answers. More draw. You've got a very big problem, my friend. And his name is Rotting Registrar.
And we will spawn a mayhem right after that. Now you've got two really big problems. Interesting. My suspicion is he's going for the... What am I thinking? He's got Jason as in his deck where he's basically he wants to mill himself out. Hmm. Come on. What you got? Blood for bones. And who do you take? Who do you take? Works for me. So let's go here and here and see which one he decides to block with. What you doing? Sure. It's like, I don't know how much that actually helped him. A little bit of extra mana would be super useful. I mean, I'm still sitting on enough, but I'd love to be able to be able to get, like, more of my recurring creatures coming out. Cauldron's Gift. Yeah, this is straight up he's trying to mill himself out. Ugh. So dumb. That card is so dumb. You want a card on the list for stuff that should be banned? Right there. I recognize that it's a seven casting cost, but it is stupid. Die to my own creature. And then he's going to pull it out of the graveyard and take something else that belongs to me. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, that's enough of that. That is enough of that. I've had enough of that deck already. <laughs> cool deck idea, not my cup of tea. At least it's not counterspell deck. I, I can't complain. It's not a whole bunch of, like, counterspells on top of counterspells on top of counterspells. Like, it's not that deck. It's super irritating, though, to have them like, hey, I got this cool creature. It's going to count. Oh, no. Now you've got this cool creature. It's a cool deck. It's frustrating. That's all. All right. We'll get one more game. One more game in, and we will call it a day for this one. And then we'll, uh, we'll await Fun Deck Friday. All good things. This is actually a really good curve, the way that I like this. So we are going to go Sanitarium Skeleton first. Say hello. Oh goody, is it <laughs> Field of the Dead deck? Why not end on that? So the only way to beat this deck is to get in front of it fast. Because ultimately, in the end, they're going to get Field of the Dead down really, really quick, and you're going to lose. Now, luckily, that has not happened yet.
One more mana would have been lovely. I mean, look how much mana he's been able to get out. Look how much. There are so many spells with like Circulus Root and so much of the other, so many other spells. Although he's not really hitting the other name stuff. Like he's got two Watery Graves, two Force. Hydro Graves is cool. Definitely needs some mana. No, nope. why would we do that? Why would we get mana? That's not cool. Nope. We're in some trouble. Golden Goose. Yeah, this deck's on my list. I'm not going to lie. Because this, yeah, this is the Oko deck. This is not the Field of the Deck. I mean, Field of the Dead works in this, and this is the Oko deck. We've already lost this game. <laughs> Just for, in case you haven't told, like, even when, even if I do get the mana to be able to kill the Hydro Graces, which hopefully I do, we are in some serious trouble with this deck. Come on, mana me. No? Great. Alright, we're going to call it. Running on two mana against this deck, they're way ahead of us. We're going to call it a game on that one. So that is my mono black aggro deck. You will probably see this deck at least one more time during the season as I continue to refine it. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, what would you do for your mono black decks? What would you add, subtract? What am I missing on this one? Because it does need a little bit of help, clearly. So in any case, I do hope you enjoyed the video. We uh, do hope you enjoy the video. Try that again. I'm not going to edit this one out. I screwed this up the last two times. I'm not going to edit this one out. Do hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.